Press start. Everyone, Dan here. Welcome back to another video where today, I bet you didn't think you were gonna see this. Well, I didn't either, but this is called Return to Riddle School. Now, it's actually a fan-made version of Riddle School 1 to celebrate the 10th anniversary right down here of Riddle School. Oh, there he is. Phil Eggtree, I'm not gonna leave you again, I promise. <laughs> but this is a fan-made game and a remake of the very first Riddle School with updated art, music, and apparently there's a few different story changes as well. So I thought, why not relive the first ever episode by playing this again? Because it's gonna be a little bit easier because we're gonna know what we need to do. But apparently, I've read all the comments of this, um, of this game on Newgrounds, and apparently there's a few different fun things in there. So without further ado, let's Let's do this. Oh, geez, it looks well different. It looks really different. This is awesome. <laughs> Still got the old groan going on, Egg Tree. This is weird going back to like the beginning. Now that we know what happens in the end, <laughs> how crazy it gets. Groan. I've been sitting here listening to edition problems for two hours straight. I'm stuck in this special class because I teased someone a little. We know who that was when we. It was Smiley. I think I might actually be smarter than this teacher. What is 131 plus 42 again? I forget. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? 173. I think I did that in the previous video too. Right now, I'm as free as a bird. If a bird was stuck in a Cage. All right, that's it. I'm getting out of this school. Right, all of this is the same, and he should bang his head. You gonna bang your head, buddy? Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> he did indeed bang his head. So here we are. Check it out. <laughs> I don't know how much of this is gonna be the same. I can't actually remember how we get out of this room. Um, do we talk to this guy? This is Mr. Calm. He asked me lots of questions, and I don't know any of the answers. Was he there before? I can't even remember, but anyway, it looks like there's some gum under this chair. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there in the first one. Ew, I don't care if it was mine. I can't believe I touched that old gum. Oh, it was, it was yours. You're disgusting, Phil. And there's this pencil as well, which we need to put into the pencil sharpener, I believe. I'll take this pencil, but I refuse to take any notes. Did we even have a pencil in the first one? I have no clue, but let's sharpen this pencil. Hey, teacher! Hey, you. I am Phil Eggtree. You know me? Do you know me from the famous Riddle School series? No? Okay, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil, please. Yes, but only one allowed. Okay, there we go. Now that was sharp. The special pun. And five for president. The five poster is back. <laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly, we need to click one of these. And I can't remember which one it is. There it is. Look, we got the hall pass. We can get past that little punk um, later on. I can't even remember his name. We'll find it in a second. But there's the water fountain, the clock, the isn't working. It's kind of cool to see this with like updated art and stuff. So let's go into Mrs. Kofi's room. Oh my goodness, what painting is that? That's a drawing by somebody named John Bro called D Dog Bro. <laughs> it's probably the nicest thing in this entire school. And yeah, the medals on the top right, you can actually find like loads of random things. So, um, hey Zach, how you doing buddy? He's the one that's always cold. Last week you froze up uh, the fountain solid. Now it doesn't work properly. Awesome. Good job, Zach. There's Fred as well. He might be even more bored in class than me and smiley she's got hair look she's got hair this time oh that's so cool i think we're gonna be able to notice really cool things in this game because obviously it was made after the series ended we're gonna be able to notice things in this game where you actually we kind of notice what happens next because look smiley has hair that didn't happen in the first one so that's smiley she's the only one in school who actually likes learning we know this and then she, we're the one who took the mick out there we're so sorry i don't think this was here either gaping hole zach says he saw a clown hiding in that hole but i don't believe him zach are you okay that's a little bit weird imagine all right mrs kofi as well look at all these coffee cups that's absolutely disgusting look at all those Crazy, and it's got a window as well. Looks out there, reminds me that I'm trapped in here, and the trash can as well. Oh, yeah, the feather duster. I almost forgot about that, actually. <laughs> right, let's exit here. And I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Can we give the janitor this already? Yes, we can. You found my feather duster? You're a real lifesaver. I've been looking all over the school for this. The birds on the playground need dusting. Here's a dollar. Don't waste it on socks. I remember him saying that. I remember that. Why is there a chicken leg up here? <laughs> This is awesome. It looks so different. He's called 808 as well. Oh, he's five's like granddad or dad or something, isn't he? Very strange. Right, so it's fairly similar. What are you doing here? Get out of my closet. Okay, I was leaving anyway. Jeez. So at the minute, it's fairly similar. There are definitely different things about it, though. I'm not sure if we got the dollar this early last time. I can't even remember. The gross spill is still there that we don't know what happens. We, well, we don't want to know anyway. And now, oh, can we go in here? No, we can't. Oh, what's up here? Look. There's a hole in the ceiling. 
I wonder if that'll come into effect later on. But look how cool it looks, all the updated graphics and stuff. Oh, jeez. What? That sink just took the water back out. This abstract sink comes from Penrose Inc. Watch, look. Keep watching. Keep watching. It actually puts the water in and sucks the water out. Look at this. <laughs> What kind of sink is that? Five was not here. Tut tut five. Tut tut. How dare you? Uh, there's a dog on here as well. Awesome, man. Oh, did you see that? It sparkled. Shiny ring. What a precious looking ring. That definitely was not in the first version. 100% there was no ring under there. I'm pretty sure anyway there was no ring. Um, Where do we go now? We can't go in the girls' room. Look, it's not letting us. So let's give our hall pass to this bad boy here. There we go. Get out of here, Richie. You're useless. Get out the way. Right, we've got the teacher's lounge as well. I don't think there's any other lockers we can open. Um, That's locked. The teachers are very protective of their lounge. And then, hey, here's Fat Boy. He's got Feed Me written on him in ketchup this time. <laughs> Who wrote that on? Surely you didn't write it on yourself. Or did he? He might have done. Ooh, give me a cookie. Okay, I'll see if I can find one, buddy. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to go into here and grab one from the vending machine. Old picture. Oh, look at that. That's how the old cafeteria looked. Look how different it looks. That's so awesome. I love that. This picture is dated 2006. I don't think this place has been cleaned in a decade. <laughs> Ew, there's a yogurt burst here. Fred stomped on a yogurt package over there. That was months ago. Gross. And who's this, Greg? That's Greg, the least hungry and most well-rested kid in school. I don't think he had anything to do in the previous, uh, in the first version. Vending machine. Unfortunately for me, this cookie machine is broken. Fantastic. Cafeteria counter. This is where they serve my favorites, like green mush and orange smush. And brown discs. Ugh, I hate those discs. Okay, so do we have anywhere else we can get out? Intercom. One time the intercom broke and squealed non-stop for an entire week. I still have troubles hearing thanks to that stupid thing. Uh, fire extinguisher. I think I'm safe. The last fire we ever had was when Mrs. Kofi's coffee spontaneously combusted. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I think, uh, I think we've done everything so far. So what we need to do now, I think, is use the dollar. Let's try it. Let's try, let's try the dollar in the machine. Oh, hey, Greg, wake up. I could use a hand. Hmm, what? Is that you, Phil? Ah, this definitely wasn't in the first ever Riddle School, because I think you had to fix the cookie machine first. Oh, no, you had to collect all the coins. We didn't have that. We didn't have that in this one. Okay, hmm, what? Is that you, Phil? Yes, it is. Um, I have some cash with your name on it, if you do me a favor. What? You wrote my name on it? Isn't it worth less now? I didn't actually write your name on it. Look, I don't have a lot of time. Do you want the money or not? It depends. Do I need to get up? Not really. I don't think so. All I need you to do is cry until someone comes to check on you. <laughs> what? Sounds easy enough. You've got a deal. Wah. Boo-hoo. Wah. Sobbing sound. <laughs> Greg, look at him. <laughs> Greg's the least, is he the least hungry? Yeah, least hungry and most well-rested kid in school. He's crying. What are we supposed to do now? Oh, look, attention, all available staff. There is some brats crying. What's a uh, student crying in the cafeteria? I think that's how you're supposed to say it. You're not supposed to say and call us brats out loud. That's, that's unacceptable. Ha, usually she doesn't catch those slip-ups. <laughs> I'm currently barricaded in the office by some kind of yellow boulder. Will someone from the teacher's lounge please handle this? This might be my only chance. I better act fast. So I need to go to the teacher's lounge now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <My, laughs> what? This, this better be quick. My ham sandwich is going to get cold. A ham sandwich is usually hot. I, I don't really know. Let's go to the teacher's lounge. Oh, look, he unlocked it. Awesome. Oh, this is... This is different. <laughs> this is different and very awkward indeed. Uh, is this Mark opponent? Whoops. <laughs> Wanted poster ripper. Oh, that's so awesome. There's a sad face here as well. We've got some coffee. That must be where Mrs. Kofi has all her coffee and stuff. Suspicious brick. TV has taught me that this different colored brick should act as a secret switch. But here it seems like they ran out of real bricks and started using tissue boxes. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so glad there's more riddle school to be had. Um, what do we need to click? Is there anything we can click here? Ring slots. Let's click that. Whoa, the ring I found fits perfectly into this slot. Secret passage. Oh my goodness! This is more like what I expected to think. I've been kicking a cabbage around at recess because they can't afford a soccer ball. <laughs> so this is the secret teacher's lounge, flying pig head. 
Oh, man, the flying pig. See, look, things like that. Oh, the flying pig who flew away and died a couple of times as well in some of the riddle scores. The flying pig is our school's mascot. Too bad we don't have any sports teams or even a gym team for that matter. That's true. We, we probably don't. Comfy chair. These look so comfy. No wonder I can never find any of the teachers outside of the class. These sneaky punks is a cookie box. Darn, the cookie box is empty. Oh, what's this? What's this? Floor cookie. I once saw Chubb eat from the trash. I'm sure he won't mind a floor cookie. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this secret teacher's lounge. They're so nasty. How dare they? And it looks like... Oh, I thought there was a secret passage there, but there's not. Right, let's go to Chubb and give him this cookie. Here we go. Here, have your floor cookie. Take... <laughs> he properly fell. Take the cookie, fatty. And now we can go into the office. What are you doing here? Um, this is very different. This is very snazzy indeed. Um... What did we do last time? I completely forgot. Principal question. Is she gonna have Cress on her chin? That would be that would be kind of amazing, but gross at the same time. Um, uh, what teacher are you? That's none of your business. Get out. Oh yeah, I forgot she kicks you out every single time. What do we do? I need to talk to the principal, and why is that? Um, uh, I think it's I want to tell him a joke. Oh, joke's always fun. Go right on in. Here we go. This is why we could get question. If you got Cress on your chin, that'd be amazing. Is he asleep? He's actually asleep. Perfect. Per oh, no, there's not. Oh, jeez. Is he coming after me? Is he going to come after me? That was a close one. I better hurry out of here. Go. Go. Get out. Get out. Can we escape? Let's escape. Yes. Oh, look. He's going to step on the thing. Look. This is where um, this is where he actually steps on the, uh, the time bomb or the time stopper thing. And then all hell breaks loose and the aliens go absolutely wild and crazy. And Phil becomes the biggest... Hero ever. Oh, what's this? Sir, a student has escaped from Riddle Elementary School. Yeah, this is it. Excellent. Initiate Project Vision. So this is Viz talking. And this is Diz talking because it's red and green. At once, sir. Awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool. Fun facts. Time to make around five weeks. Library items, 446. I have no idea what that means. The picture in Mrs. Kofi's room is actually drawn by John Bro. This was due to be released in 2015, but due to poor programming, this game kept crumbling under the weight of sloppy code. This is the first game I ever programmed. That's pretty good. There's over 130 speech bubbles worth of dialogue, and May the 25th, 2016 marks the 10th anniversary of the original game. Game. There we go. So I thought this was kind of fun to play. There was a little twist in here as you found the secret teacher's lounge. So guys, sorry if you thought it was a little bit repetitive. But I thought we could just play Riddle School one more time with a few different changes and all the artwork and stuff was upgraded and it looked really, really awesome. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last ever Riddle School video ever. Unless there's some more fan games out there and I'll definitely play those. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy again, a thumbs up would be awesome and if this happens to be the first video seen by me please do consider subscribing to join team tdn today for daily gameplay videos apart from that thank you again so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one yeah Bye.